Alright, this is Vestilian Codis, aka Brooklyn Al. I'm in a section, but this is not the section I found all those logs strewn about. Uh, what I'm showing you here is look at this humongous tree the root of the tree and uh, there's no hole here like where it fell from but I'm, I see a root in the ground so it might have fallen from there and through the years was covered up with leaves and whatnot <laughs> look at this old monster tree this is one humongous tree. God, it's so big. You could fit, like I said in another video, you could fit a Bigfoot in that hole. It's huge. Anyway, these are, this is an old forest. And, uh, I'm right off the road, maybe 30 feet, and here is a bender, you can see it, let me show you, where are you bender, oh boy, let me get it from here, it's touching the ground there, you can see that, and it goes up, and it's behind these trees and it goes down to the ground and there's a lot of stuff in here a lot of crazy stuff this thing is solid and this has some trees brought in like that place is not far from here yeah, believe me, it's not far. It's right in this general area. And look at these trees all pulled in here. Look at this. Look at this. This is cool. Look at all these branches. And they're in the crookedest tree here. That's got one big trunk and one younger trunk and they're right in there that's something eh, unbelievable huh well, there you go here's an axe right here let me get up closer so yeah I can prove to you it's an axe where are you right there Right there, see that? That's an X, boy, I tell you, that is an X. A perfect X. And how they make it stay like that, there's a little, a little piece of a branch coming out here, and this piece here that I'm holding is right in there. Ah. This is an old break right here, very old. Look at all this, look at all this. this. There's a bunch of stuff here also. I don't know, oh this is the area. Now I see where I am. I'm a little bit up further. I wanna look at this closer now. Ah. Just got to watch out for the uh, thorn bushes. They're everywhere, them little sneaky bastards. I promised I wasn't going to curse anymore. And, uh, here's some stuff. Here, here, right here is a leaner and look where it is right in the branch of that tree which is like a fork and there's another one there the thinner one same place 
crazy, man. This is a big tree right in front of me. See, you know what I don't notice either about this place? There aren't many tree trunks. You know, like this one here. Like there are across on uh, on my side. Where am I now? I can't figure out where I am. I think this is the, yeah, no, this is the north side, but I usually go up the south side. And all, all this stuff brought in. It's amazing. I just gotta watch out for these thorns. Can't stand them. Ah! Got me in the knee. Stuck on my jeans. Oh, sorry about that. Ah, oh, this is what I showed you in that, that other video, the first one, when I came into this area. I, I called it a blind, but it might be like a fence, you know? To have the deer run down and towards that area where all the uh, those tree logs are just laying look at this I got thorn see this see that that's thorn a piece of thorn branch it was stuck on my pants oh god I hate them thorns uh, hard to see this is a big old tree right here it's uh god it's big oh wow the thorns i feel them when i walk i feel them grabbing onto my pants yeah this is that oh, i believe to be uh either a fence like you know to to have the deer reroute them to reroute the deer to them oh boy right in front of me or it's a uh, uh, what do you call it a uh, a blind I, I don't know well there's a lot of this stuff here right here there's a blind right here and then the blind running up for quite a ways, like 50 feet or more. Uh, I gotta get away from these. I should have took my monopod with me. Let me take a stick to knock this shit out of the... See, I, see, I said the word. Knock this poops out of the way. <sighs> I can't stand it. All right, uh, see, it's even catching the branch I'm holding. I'm holding this branch. The thorns are even grabbing that. <sighs> I don't think this means much. It's, uh, it's, it is a fork, and it's upside down, and it's in the, the crook of this tree. And uh, pieces, two of the pieces are sticking out on the other side. Who knows? Look at this. This is this was here a long time. Look at, look at the moss on it. See how green it is. Let me go in the light so you can see. It's been here a long time starting to mildew I mean uh, decay hey these are big old trees in this area big old trees so I'm not in a new area with all them saplings
And here's where that graveyard, I'll call it, of trees were pulled into. And you don't see any roots on them, just broken trees that were pulled into this area here. It's crazy. And then it stops a little bit, and then up there, there's even more. And there's that big bender I found that goes up and down into the ground. Really huge bender, about 40 feet long, if that's what it is. All right, let me let me cut this down. See, I want to show you all these trees laying strewn on the ground here. Can you see that? It's unbelievable. It really is. I never seen anything like it. Like I said in my other video, I never seen anything like this. All the months I've been walking around this this uh, state land, never seen anything like it. See up there, there's more trees, all pulled into this area, and they didn't grow here. That's a fact. They didn't grow here because they're in pieces. Look at this. They're in pieces. Let me unzoom it. See, I'll use this as a point. To, look at this. See, that looks like a triangle. Did I show this? I believe I showed this. You know, you can see they didn't grow here. They're just broken pieces of young trees. One day, I got to go further north. I showed you in my other video that it, there was a field right behind all these trees. I got to go into that field and past it when it starts to get warmer. But like I was saying, today, you know, it's hunting season. And I haven't seen many hunters. I just saw one truck. I don't know if it was a hunter. All right, let me shut this down for a sec, a few minutes, whatever, and look around, and I'll get back. You see, look at the size of this tree. It's gigantic. Organic. And it's not just one trunk, it's one, two, three, four trunks with a, a vine growing alongside of it. Two vines or three vines. Look at, look at these crazy vines. How they grow, I don't know. Look at this. I have these at home in my uh, lilac bushes and we call them strangling vines because you could see how they wind around and they tighten it until the the main tree trunk or whatever you want to call it dies see look at it you see how they wind around it and as that gets bigger, they'll just die. Because the thing will choke them to death. Oh, wow. What is this? This is unbelievably crazy. Wow. Oh, I, oh God. This is something. This is what a find. 
I don't know what this was at one time, but there are stones, and it's deep in some parts, like five feet or more. All those stones all around it. Maybe it was the farmer's home, you know, and that might have been the, uh, whatchamacallit, look, look, look at this. The, uh, oh god, I used to do this kind of work and I can't remember. The foundation, look at that. I don't know, you know, my camera, the sun is so bright I can hardly see my screen. So I'm just pointing it and hoping that it will show up. God, this is unbelievable. Oh my God. Yeah, let me go around here. Look at this. Look at this. All these stones. Big, big stones. Look at this. Look at these stones piled up over here. That were part of it at one time. Huh? crazy right and look how deep it is unbelievable I never saw was that a little cave in there I don't think so might have you see in there this is something else God all the stones Maybe it was a fortress back then to protect themselves from the Native Americans, you know? I, I'm not bullshitting you there, you know? Look, look at that. that! That stone right there must be like six feet long and, uh, what, uh, uh, three feet wide. And look at all the stones running. Un God, unbelievable. I I'm f I I'm trying not to say curse words. But this is unbelievable. It really is. Oh, my God. I thought what I found up by my old research area was uh, something, you know. Uh, it, I thought it was, uh, what do you call it, a, a foundation and a root cellar or something. But this one, you could still see how the stones were planted. Unbelievable. This is a great find. Oh, jeez. I don't believe what I'm seeing. They dug it so deep. But maybe after hundreds of years, it wasn't that deep. It just that, uh dirt and the leaves eventually made it seem that I don't know I don't know I shouldn't say but this is something I gotta come back here more often ah, okay let me let this camera relax see this is what I was talking about strangling vines I hear something I don't know if it's a hunter or what. Over that way, I hear something going through the, the brush. I heard tree snap and stuff. But that doesn't concern me. This does. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
I gotta look up uh, on the internet how trees were made back, I mean, not trees, uh, how houses were made back in the 18th century up here, you know? Unbelievable. See, these are all old trees. And I don't think they'll ever be cut down because this might be a historic area, you know? Okay. Here, this was the road at one time. I can tell. Look how deep it is. I don't know, you can't tell, but I can. And they have a sign over there. No vehicles. And, and uh, they might have had, you know, like a horse and buggy. And uh, little uh, barns up here. Barns weren't made as hefty as these, these their houses, that's for sure. They were just probably trees, you know. This is unbelievable. Fantastic. Oh, I'll be back here. Definitely. Look at these old trees, you know it's an old area. Okay. Later. See, I can't go any further than this. Because all it is is brush and thorns. And you know I hate thorns. Maybe there's a spot over there I can go through. But not today. This big tree is laying down in what was once a road, I believe. Or someone used it with ATVs and stuff before they stopped that. About, I would say, over 20 years ago they stopped that. Here's some more strangling vines. Look at them. Right into this tree. You see that? Going up and wrapping them their, themselves around the tree. Crazy. Vines are crazy. How they grow straight up, I don't know. I can understand a tree growing straight up with vines, I can't. And look at this. This, uh, probably a leaner. That <laughs> vine strangled it and has got a hold on it to keep it in that place. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> Okay, and here's a fork that's upside down and hanging on this branch. That's also a fork, this branch here. That was nice. I'm finding more and more, so this is only my second venture into this area. And I will be coming back, hopefully, to find more. Oh, I see my car from here. It's over, it's going uh, Westmore. And uh, I was going to go further west this way and then check my compass, but I don't have to. I can see my car from here. All right, thank you for coming with me. And, uh, oh, I found some really great stuff. That deep, that really deep houses, uh, 
what do you call it foundation look at all that all them trees are, are over here them trees they drug in if they drug it in but I can't see humans doing this humans would pile them in a together you know in a nice neat area not crazy like this all right thank you for watching especially you Arian thank you look at this little skinny yeah let me get up close to it where are you skinny mini right here this skinny guy was broken at about five feet and the branch goes down this was also broken about a foot and a half up and then whoa and then it is bent yeah i'll give you a shot of the the, tr the sun is right behind me so uh, it really doesn't help me because it makes the screen look very light. You see that? All them branches. There's more. That's that's just a little part of it. There's more everywhere I look. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, last time I said I was going to leave a marker. This time I'm, I am leaving a marker. It looks like an X at the top. Okay, hopefully it'll still stand when I come back. Either tomorrow or the day after. And here is a big field. I think this is where they play football. You know, big foot. But they don't use footballs. They use big boulders. They throw boulders. And all the other big foot stand along the sidelines to watch them play. You know, this is their f uh, stone ball or boulder ball. It's just like playing football, but with boulders instead of a football. <laughs> you know, I'm only joking. Okay, later.